All right, it says we. All right, it says it. It says it looks a lot better. Hopefully, hopefully we're we're done, and I don't. I don't have to do this ever again. I think I know what my issue was, though. Okay. I think I think we're good. Okay. So anyway, back to the story. So, uh, my dad's friend threw his disc. It the wind blew it, landed in the, like, these really big trees. Um. Excellent. And then, so we're we're trying to get it back. And so then there's these guys behind us, and we're like, hey, you guys can play around us if you want. We're fetching a disc, and they're like, are you sure? So we said, so we said, yeah, go ahead. We're not, we're not in any kind of a rush. So they're like, all right. So first guy steps up, and he, you know, he does like his wind up and his pitch, and it looks pretty good. Like it sails, it sails pretty straight. It curves, it curves a little bit, but just, just wind. Like what? Like what can you do? You're, we're throwing, we're throwing frisbees. Like there's not, there's not much that you can do. I also wonder if maybe some like Minecraft settings are to blame, but so then, so then the second guy steps up and he throws his like really high up, which the higher you throw it, the more wind it's going to catch. So it caught all of the wind and landed over in the trees where we were still looking for my dad's friend's disc. And it was pretty funny. It reminded me, it reminded me a lot of the time when um, my parents had like a, uh, a, a New Year's Eve party. And my dad, my dad's same friend had just gotten a drone. So he brings this drone over and within a half an hour of having it out, it gets stuck in a tree. And then for the rest of the night, I'm just, I mean, hours, we were outside for hours trying all sorts of different ah. things to get this drone out of a tree. At one point, my mom goes, Aaron, go get your bow and arrow and see if you can shoot it out of the tree. And I, with zero hesitation, very excitedly went and grabbed my bow and arrow. But my dad wouldn't let me shoot it out of the tree because he thought it was a bad idea. I disagreed with him. I thought it was going... I thought it would have been a lot of fun. But... And I'm not a terrible shot. Maybe it is. Hold on. Maybe dad was right, but... Ah, here we go. All right. This should actually smooth it, I think, a lot. I said it was pro. I said it might have been something with, with the Minecraft settings as well. Maybe that, maybe that should have been the first thing that I checked, was I should have checked the Minecraft settings first, instead of turning off the streaming, turning it on again, whatever. <gasps> this is so cool! This is so cool. This is so cool.
That's awesome. And then I accidentally fall in. I don't want to fall in. I'll come back and... Eh, maybe. Maybe I could... House is straight that way. Don't get me. Don't get me. Oh, there we go. Egg flowers. <gasps> There's an enderman. Oh, I wanted to bop him one. <gasps> there he is. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, come here. I'm gonna die. Ah! Not a very smart move there, Benick. Not a not a very smart move at all. Where's my There it is. Huh. So the question is, can I find exactly where I was? I feel like the answer is yes. I feel like I wasn't that far. Oh wait, and also I was close to a village. You stinking rotten lap, come here. Come down here so I can kill you myself. I'm a very confrontational person when it comes to these monsters. I think it was just over this way. I think I hooked up and around. Because I've been to that village, but... Alright, I'm just going to go over here. I really do think it's just right up here. I should be right. I'm hoping I'm right. I'm probably right. <laughs> ah! I don't know if they still have it or not, but a long time ago when you used to get shot by like lots of arrows, they used to have them sticking straight out of Steve. Like the little like the little running Steve up in the corner. He he used to have like arrows coming out of him when you got shot. It was pretty funny. I mean, it was pretty funny looking. Ow. Ow. So, my stuff will despawn in a couple of minutes. But that's plenty of time for me to... Because, like, I, cause I was right here. I really was. I was right here. I've already been to this village. So, it was up this way? Was that a phantom? Ow. Yeah, cause here's here's this thing. Oh, there's light coming out from that. Oh crap. Aha! Parkour. That's a gorge. So where did he kill me? I was over here by the... Oh, wow. That one missed me. Ha-ha! Amazing! I am invincible. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. <laughs> that's a that's a Bible reference for all you kids that didn't go to Sunday school. 
unlike myself. I'm still, I'm still really just like looking for sugar cane right now so that I can make like a really, really big map. That's a witch. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Is that baby zombie still chasing me? Holy crap. I think it's chasing me down like Wily Coyote chases down the... The road runner. Ooh, there's another village. Am I the only person that finds it strange that, like, all of these old cartoons are just anthropomorphic animals? Like... I, I just I don't know I don't know I feel like it's I feel like it's a little weird although maybe although I guess it's weird although I guess that they're animals so it appeal it appeals to kids better I guess that's probably the reason right That actually makes a lot of sense now. I think I just answered my own question. I don't know. Sometimes I just kind of think, I'm like, why? Why are there so many animals? And not only that, but like we have, we have many different sets of them for like different for like different production companies, I find it, I find it a little odd. Uh, sometimes anyway. So I'm going very far away from my house. What is that? Well, it's probably a portal. Now the question is, do I have nearly enough sugar cane Yeah, I ran away from one baby villager just to be bombarded by another one. What is that up there? Oh crap, I thought that was a golem. Oh crap! What? What? Oh, it's a portal. Oh. The gold block sitting on top really threw me for a loop there. Yes, portal loot! Portal loot! Wow. I'll admit, some of these caves are... They are very nice looking. I will admit that. Are they, are they also pretty ridiculous? Yes. Yes, they are. But they are, there are some pretty, there are pretty, so, but, there are some pretty spectacular ones. There we go. English isn't that hard. Actually, English is the worst. English is the worst language. English is the worst. Okay. Why, why are cough and though spelled the same and yet we say that differently? I don't, I don't understand. English is the worst, the stupidest language ever. And then you got some of these yippee hoo-ha people, I don't know.
Some of these real weird people. Actually, I should probably just say racist. Some of these real racist people that are just like, oh, everyone should just speak English. Like, no. English speak English speaking people should change to something else because anything else is better than English. It's the worst. I've spoken it all my life and I still don't know what I'm doing. I really like this hill. There's a lot of flowers on this hill. It's very pretty. Hello, chicken. Chimkin. Hello, Chimkin. But. You know, I've actually had this I've actually had part of this conversation with a coworker before. He said So I so I work at a truck wash. That's what that's what I do. That's what I do full time. I I watch I watch trucks. And we we tend to get a lot of um foreign drivers a lot of drivers that don't speak a lot of english or they don't speak any english at all um and so the one day we had a driver that we we could we really couldn't like we really could not even talk to this man that is how little english he knew and one of my coworkers was kind of getting frustrated with him so he was like, why do they, why do they even come here if they can't speak English? Like, why, like, why, why would you come and not be able to speak any English at all? So I was like, well, well, hold on now. That's kind of, that's kind of not the greatest thing to say. Cause like you can, you can live here and not speak any English. Like it's not. It's not mutually, mutually exclusive, I think. Something, something like that. And he's like, and he's like, what do you mean? If like, like if they, if they come here, how do I, how do I get everything out of a chest in one go? I'm so confused. I don't know. So, yeah, I already have a brewing stand. So, so then he's like, what do you mean? This, like, this is America. We speak English in America. And I'm like, well, I mean, Spanish is the second most spoken language, I think. In America, he was like, "It doesn't matter. Like that. Well, like you're, like you're in the United States. Like you're in Pennsylvania. Like you need to be able to speak English." So I kind of tried to pull one over on him, and I was like, "Well, it it just it just kind of frust frustrates some of these some of these guys because we'll be like." Did you did you want to do this and that? And they'll just kind of look at you with like a blank stare and let's just go, oh, 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 okay. Because they have no idea what you just said to them. And then we do it and they just go, oh, no, 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 no. We, 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 we don't want, no want that. So it can, so it can be kind of frustrating, but I kind of, I kind of tried to pull one over on them. So I was like, all right, if you, if you ever go... Let's say, let's say you go to Japan. Do you expect everyone in Japan to speak English for you and to be able to translate everything for you? And he's like, no, why would I? It's Japan. They speak Japanese there. If I ever go to Japan, I would learn Japanese so that I could get around in Japan. And I was like, huh, that actually makes a lot of sense. So I think it's so I think it's almost like less for our convenience and almost more for the person that's trying to get by convenience, right? 
explaining medical tests for the language barrier is a top tier challenge. I absolutely believe that. I believe that 100%. But but ever but ever since he said that I'm I'm kind of with him I think And maybe and maybe that sounds like a little racist But at the same time not really Like I think like I think if you're going like if you're going to a country and you don't know the primary language of that country you should probably learn the primary language of that country and that goes for everybody. And I, I, I think that goes for everybody. Like if you're, like if you're from Mexico, it would help. They may just have bigger worries than spending hours every day learning a difficult language. But you, you don't even need to learn, like everything. Like I, like we, like the most, the most foreign drivers that we get are usually Spanish. I can speak, and I've looked up, I can speak enough Spanish that I could get by decently with a driver that doesn't speak any English at all, I think. But like, it's not, but like, it's not just to say for just... I can't, I cannot stress this enough. It is not just for people that are coming to America. Like if you're, like if you're a, like if you're a Spanish speaking person that just really, really likes anime and you want to take a, and you want to take a trip to Japan, you should probably learn Japanese before you go there. Otherwise you're going to have a very hard time. Especially with Spanish, because I think I think that the language that most countries adhere to the most, other than their ooh, that's a big stock. Other than like the language that they primarily speak there, is is English. I think. Not learning a new language every time I go places. But if everyone did that. If everyone learned at least a little bit of a new language every time they went anywhere, think of, there would just, there would be so much less of a language barrier, I think. And it's not, and it's not like entirely all the time. Like there are English people, like there are English speaking people in Japan. Like you could go to Japan not knowing a single thing of Japanese and probably be okay. 10 years to study Japanese? Goodness. I like it would... I like it would take 10 years. You don't... You don't need to be fluent. You know, just... Hey, where's the bathroom? <laughs> just... You, just, you know, like... Just basic words. Because, like... Because, like, we get some drivers, they don't know any English. They don't know any English besides, like, yes and no. You don't count that learning a language? What, like learning basic phrases? I think, I think one other thing is, uh, translators, especially, especially if you're going for, like, a long time. Um, my dad once went to a missions trip to a missions trip in Ukraine. Um, this was years and years and years ago, but um, he he didn't learn any. What are they? What are they speaking? What do they speak in Ukraine? Is it? Do they speak Russian in Ukraine? Or do they or do they have their own language? I traveled Italy without any Italian and I was fine. Ten vocab words and learning language are very different. Okay, well maybe maybe more than ten.
I also, the other thing too is that I think that there's also a huge difference in like a two or three day trip and working and living here. Like many truck drivers work here and live here. Oh crap. Like if I, like I think if I were to take like a week vacation in Mexico, I would probably heavily brush up on my, on my Spanish, which I'm already learning. Like I'm already, I'm already trying to become fluent in Spanish so that in the case when I do get some of these drivers, I can just handle it myself and I don't have to call, we don't have to call any of our, any of our bilingual employees over. I'm getting this other stuff too. But like a week vacation for sure, but their communities where they live might be very heavily Spanish speaking. They might not have much motivation to learn. But that's definitely also true. But I wonder, but I also wonder at the same time if interacting every day with other people that don't heavily speak Spanish is enough motivation. I don't know. All I all I know is that if I were to ever take a trip to Japan, I I would finish the Duolingo course in Japanese in a week. I would, I would be on that thing day and night. I would want to be fluent in Japanese before I go. Not when you're trying. Wait, what do you mean not when you're trying to survive? Trucker, truckers make really good money. Like they don't, like there's no trying to survive with truckers. You cannot be fluent that fast. Challenge accepted. <laughs> nice shot, idiot. Wait, wait, wait. What's a wait? Which statement is very broad? All truckers are financially fine. I didn't say that. I said I said truckers make good money. Actually, I think I think that usually most of the reason why like a lot of foreign drivers end up doing trucking is because they can get I think they can There's no trying to survive. Is that what I said? No, maybe it is a broad statement. Ah, there's the house. I'll just scale up the side. I mean, yeah. In the case in the case of someone that works at like I don't know, McDonald's and like is just in the back like just doing the cooking or something and doesn't know doesn't know a whole lot of English. I could I could definitely see where they don't have they don't have like a lot of the time or resources to, to like learn an entirely new language. 
I could, I could definitely understand that. That's an iron nugget. That's flint. This is redstone. These are tools. This is foodstuffs. Okay. So get me my... Ah! Well, heck you too, buddy. I just think that I just think that there's not like if you like I think I think if you live and work somewhere you should probably wait a minute Ah! Amazing. Okay. So if I do this and this. <gasps> Wait a minute. <laughs> it just goes infinitely. What if I put paper down here? So wait. Wait, what's the point of this? I'm so confused. If you add a compass into the second slot, you can make it locate for map. Adding paper or a blank map. I'm trying to add paper. Oh, maybe because it's blank. Look, you can see the tree farm. That's fantastic. Now try. Ha! I'm so smart. Ta-da! And now we go on an adventure. Wow, I really didn't need that much paper. I went on that whole expedition and I didn't even need all that paper. Take a bucket. Take the boots. I'll need some food. Bread. So, where to go? Actually, I can do this. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely beautiful. And now all I do is walk around until it's filled.
Hmm. So what what exactly am I looking for? I'm I mean I'm hoping for like structures. Those are melons. That's going to make me... I hate that it's not... Hold on. Can I change that? Screen animations. Camera shake and bobbing? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. At least... At least for as long as I've got my map. That way it's just not shaking all over the place and I can... I can just sh I can just see it. I think I would want to visit Japan sometime. I'll think for too long though. And I think that I would have to, I would have to at least like build up a tolerance to noodles because I don't like noodles. And that's primarily what a lot of what they eat in Japanese culture is they eat a lot of noodles. And rice. I don't like rice either. The texture of it. I don't like the way that it feels on my mouth. It feels gross. Rice is top tier. Maybe I just have never had good rice. Maybe, maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to go to Japan specifically to just eat, just eat their food. Oh my goodness. Although, ah, stop it. Although a friend of mine, actually, actually it was Jacob. Jacob and I. Uh, Jacob and I both really like anime, so I suggested one time that he should come over early on a Saturday, and we should make, we should make ramen bowls. Like, like, authentic from scratch. Not like noodles from scratch, but everything else. Um, like authentic Japanese ramen bowls. I thought that that would be a very good, a very good thing. Indian rice, huh? Is, is Indian rice, is Indian rice very spicy? Is that why you like it? Because it's got, because it's got like kick to it or why, why specifically Indian style rice? Ooh, is there Oh wait, there was a room in portal. Aha, portal loot. Yoink. Aha. It's just a different flavor and it's more light and fluffy. So, how do you prepare Indian rice differently than, like, Japanese rice that it's more light and fluffy? Or is it, or is it where the rice itself comes from? Wait, what the? Oh, it's the hand. Oh. 
I'm looking. I'm looking behind my chair. I'm looking behind my chair, right here. I forget that this is opposite. I'm looking behind my chair right here. Like, what is, like, what is this thing? It's Steve's hand. You get takeout. So you can't answer my question, is what you're saying. It's different types of right. This is for sure. I don't know about preparation. I'll have to look it up. I probably won't look it up. Somebody else should look it up for me. And then let me know. Let's see. You can add a... You can add Italy to the places that I should probably never visit because I'm a picky eater. I don't care enough to look that one up for you. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, but if I go to Italy for like a whole week, am I just going to eat pizza all week? No. It might be like real Italian pizza, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh. Oh, my caps lock is on. Uh. You can 150% do that. See, uh -huh. Italians are all about pasta, though, and I don't like any kind of pasta. Oh, they, they are, okay. They are actually very much about meat as well. They do like, they do like meat a lot. Italian sausage. Is pepperoni Italian? Uh -huh. I think so, right? Pepperoni is Italian. A good amount of sandwiches there too. Aww. What do they what do they put on their sandwiches? Yeah, you you've actually been to Italy. What do they what do they put on their sandwiches? Shift click on the uh -huh. I have been shift clicking. I think you can just get a meal of pepperoni. You just go you just go to a restaurant. Sir, I would like pepperoni. How much? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> While it is in the chest... Hold shift. Uh. That doesn't do anything. Uh. That doesn't do anything. Actually, no, now I'm just hungry. Oh, and 
and gelato and cano- Oh, I want to go to Italy now. Or maybe I'm just hungry. Maybe both. What is a cannoli, exactly? I know it's a, I know it's like a pastry. I know it's like a dessert pastry or something. <sighs> to move all items, all right, hold on. I have to try to figure this out. To move all items of one kind into a chest from your inventory, pick up any item, hold shift, and double click one of the items. Okay, that doesn't work. Canolars are like pastries in a tube shape with a creamy filling in them. Is it just cream? Hold on. <laughs> this one is bacon wrapped. What? This one, this one is just wrapped in bacon. It only takes 35 minutes. Huh. What do you mean, ew? You don't like bacon? Who doesn't like bacon? Besides people that hate themselves. So what? Wait. Hold on. What is? What is this one now? Because this one's got like green bits in it. You don't love bacon in general. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, but like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Goodness. I like my arteries. It's overwhelming. I want you to explain to me how bacon is overwhelming. So why, why does it have bits, why does it have green bits on it? Oh, they're pistachios. Oh, they're just, they're just pistachio bits. So cannolis are like always, they're always sweet. I would, I would love a friggin' cannoli right now, actually. <sighs> I'm literally just scrolling through Google, just looking at pictures of cannolis right now. <laughs> and I'm not stopping because I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. Okay, stacks can be grabbed by pressing left click on the stack and split by pre by pressing right click. Huh. Right.
Double clicking an item grabs up to a full stack from all items within the inventory. <gasps> Wait, but why does that not work in this stupid thing? That's so dumb! Why doesn't it work the other way around? This game is stupid. That's so dumb. Should I let him be eaten? That's probably mean. Should I fight them off? <gasps> you dropped a trident! Yes! Dropped his trident. Could you? Haha! Bro, this is awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay back! This is awesome. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you think you're hot? Uh! I probably should not mess around, actually. Because I could seriously die and lose all of my stuff. Including the sweet new trident that I got. Now where do I go? Continuing the adventure! Don't attack me from the rear. I like bacon. I like bacon a lot, but I don't like making bacon. Just, just, grease everywhere. I don't mind, I don't mind consuming grease. Not like, a little bit anyway. But it's, it's the leftover. It's the fact that like, it sits in the pan and then it gets all white and gross and nasty. Or it like splashes up and it gets all over the stove. Just ugh. I usually bake my. I usually bake my bacon. Maybe that's why they call it bacon because you should be baking it. do that with mine I put the oven on like four like 425 and then just put the bait just put the bacon on parchment and let that sucker toast it usually comes out pretty good sometimes I leave it in a little bit too long maybe I should maybe I should turn it down to 400 Ooh, the tundra. I still haven't found like anything super cool yet. But I will keep going. I gotta like move this mat or something. 
I just like I just like meat in general. Meat meat's just meat's just yeah, it's just I actually I actually used to want to go. What is it? Is it vegan? Is ooh, that's another ruin portal. Ooh, that's an outpost. Oh, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill those guys in the outpost and take their stuff. Oh, and there's like some little. Ho oh, it's such a cute little village. That's adorable. I'm gonna go say hi. <gasps> and a big old frozen lake. <laughs> I slide on the water. This is a very deep chasm, as I went. Yep, it is. I really shouldn't forget that I have a water bucket with me. Oh, wow. It's actually really far down. I think my whole thing is that I, I like, I like breakfast meat in general. Bacon, sausage. That's about it. I think that's about it for breakfast meat. So there's one over there too. I guess I'll, I guess I'll go to this village. What other breakfast meat is there? People think that ham is a breakfast meat. It's not. I don't think it is. I don't qualify it as such. Oh, there's a polar bear. Are polar bears nice or are they? Polar bears are nice. Hi, buddy. He's so cute. Look at this. They got crops and an iron golem and everything. <gasps> they have igloos. Oh, that's adorable. This is so amazing. This is spectacular. Nothing in here. What about this one? Beetroot seeds. Uh. This one? Where's the there it is? Nope. Not that one. This one? Ooh, lots of snowballs here. Is there snow blocking the way? Nope. Okay. Man, this place is awesome. Ah. He's just got a furnace. <gasps> no, he doesn't. He's got a chest <gasps> with iron in it. Oh, heck yeah. Ah. Yeah, this one's boring. That's all like ice spires over there.
guess I'll go this way. I think I can go this way, take the villager, take the pillager outpost, and then just, whoa, and then swing back around and be on my merry way with what I was doing. Yeah, because right here's the outpost. Let's see if I had a spyglass. I could find out where they are, what they're doing, formulate a plan. But instead, I kind of just have to do this. Which is just walk right in and kill them and take their stuff. I count at least one, two, three. One, two, three, four. I count at least five. Count at least five. <laughs> My sword's gonna break, and I'm gonna regret not. Yep. End of the stream early. No. What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. I even find out where I was. Mm. I want to I want to see if I can find out where I was. Actually, if I go in a, like a diagonal, I feel like I can find it. Because I think I went through this acacia forest, didn't I? Oh. Wait. Aha! I'm so good at this. Do I just cut this way? Maybe I should have made two. <laughs> Do I just like keep going in one specific direction until I find... Did I go through the water? I don't think I went through water, did I?
I think I'm gonna go this way. It's probably not right, but I'll go this way. All I have to do is find the tundra, and I'm good. Mostly. You know, I forget all the time that you can just leave items wherever you want. I'm gonna get to the top of this hill and see if I can't see it. Turn on the render distance really high for a little bit. Oh, well, I mean, there's some mushrooms. I never encountered any mushrooms. So it's not in this direction. It might still be over this way, though. Come on, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Up, 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 up. Okay. Okay, all right. Dude, you can't get to me. You're not smart enough. So very, so just for a little bit. I'm going to turn on this render distance all the way up. <laughs> see if I can see anything. <laughs> there is a village on a hill. I can make it over to that village. Oh, this. This skeleton better not shoot me off of here. I think I'm going to make it. I think I'm going to go to the top of this other mountain. And then just see what I can see from there. Because that's higher up. We'll go back down to 27. Or 28. I feel like I should probably conserve my energy because I don't have access to any food. And this can go, this can go pretty bad pretty quickly. Yo. I'm hoping well I think it's over this way because I remember this huge mountain and I remember that there being that that ruined portal over there. So I think it's somewhere over this way. My stuff despawns in a couple minutes, I think. So I think I'm okay. Should I even try to get on top of here? I guess. I don't even know where he's shooting at me from. Oh, there he is. Oh, I hear an Enderman. There's a creeper. There's another one. 
Crap, crap, crap. Crap. Woo! All right, that actually could have been a lot worse. made it wow this is actually super cute don't ruin this nice peaceful moment get out of here crap either. So now I think I, now I think my only chance is to just get to this village. Crap, 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 crap. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I thought I would find it quicker than this. I didn't want you to I didn't want you to see me cheating. But I don't care. So which direction is it now? I have my render distance on the entire way up. I don't think I'm going to find my stuff. Wait, 
I guess I'll just keep moving. Oh, I found it. Whoa. That's cool. Now the question is, is my stuff still over here? Maybe if I am lucky. <gasps> I am lucky. Look at that. Ow. I didn't get, are you serious? I just did it again. This is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, if you ever thought I would ever play a hardcore world, you're wrong. That would that would be over like that. There's a reason why I ain't never done that. This rug is so tiny. I wish it was bigger. Or maybe I just need it. I should probably move it, because I have a lot of space on this side. So it really, it really is just like straight out this way. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Nope, keep going. Closer, but no. Not quite. Not quite. It is just straight out this way, though. Is that a lava pit? They just have a lava pit? Look at him, he's looking for me. Okay. So turn down, turn down the chunks. Set it to survival. I almost did it again. I almost did it three friggin' times in a row. Is he coming after me? He is coming after me. I will catch him by surprise! See, now this is just dumb. All right, I'm gonna have some fun this time though. I'm gonna have some fun. This is, this is something new. It's fun, it'll be fun. How's my stream look? My stream quality is good. So says Streamlabs. That's the wrong way, because that's the that's the dome. Uh, straight this way. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'd never survive in a hardcore war in a hardcore world. A Minecraft one or or any other one. <laughs> you know, I should really pay some of my bills. I should get I should just get on all my stuff after I'm done streaming and pay pay bills. Probably the responsible thing to do. Okay, I want to see this. I know where my stuff is. I know what's going on, but I want to see this. Woo. Oh, this is hot. That's so cool. Wow. That's awesome. That is so cool. They just all have flight duration. Okay. Wow, I can just change it just by clicking. That's so cool. Ah. I have an issue. See, I need I need to get off. I need to jump off of somewhere high. Crap. My raid is not working out as good as I wanted it to. This might work. Oh wait, I can do it on flat ground? Oh. I'll get rid of the armor and everything after I'm done. I just want to have fun. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> ha ha! Not a scratch, boys. Not a scratch. Uh, I think I'm running. <gasps> I've run out of inventory spaces. Interesting. Because there's the map. I think I have carrots. 
Okay, the arrow the arrow can go right here. I can get rid of the rotten flesh too. Man, they even Ow. Ow. <laughs> So what do these things do? They slow me down. Gotcha. What what are they? Are they just I guess they're just skeletons. Gotta kill every last pig. And then I'm done. Alright. That's the wrong one. I think this is the right one. Uh, it's this one, I think. So what happens if I just like, <gasps> bro? Steve experience kinetic energy. Okay, so I do need to like land very gently down on the ground. Oh, whoops. Beautiful. Man, these things really do some work. Okay, where did I die so I can snatch my stuff? Man, I've got to get myself one of these. That is just so good.
Now, where in the world is the rest of my stuff? Because I had like a full inventory of crap. There's the mat, there's some planks. What exactly is going on? I mean, if it's something to do with these guys, like, I'll, I'll help. Ah, here's the rest of it. Oh, okay. Yup, there it is, okay. What else do I want to get lost? Guess dark oak log. I don't know. Conch. So what's a raid? Oh, there they are. They're raiding on like the outside. Now question, if I go up super high, but then come back down, okay. So I just need to have like a decent drop. This is so much fun. Ah. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was having fun. We were having fun. I was having my how to train your dragon moment. Oh, it's just, there we go. All right, let's try this again. This was a bad toy to have given me. Even though I know I gave it to myself. I guess the raid might still be going on, too. Okay, so if I just hold it down, nothing happens. I have to continue with the press. It. these guys right here.
Ow. Yeah, I know. Goodness. There's still one. Inventory is full again. I mean, I can probably ditch this golden armor. There he is. Done. Boom, baby. Is there another one? Is there another raid? Is he gonna attack me? There they are. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I did have fun. The Elytra thing is fun. I liked that. That was cool. I'll have to, I'll have to get one. I don't know how to get one, but I'll have to get one. And I'll have to make a bajillion fireworks too. But that was fun. All right. What else do I have for this week? I didn't stream almost at all last week. I had such a busy week last week. Um, tomorrow, more Super Mario Sunshine. I know I'm also to the end of it, but I think I only have like 10, I think I only have like 10 shines left. So we're getting close, we're getting closer. Um, and then Magic the Gathering Thursday. I'm very excited for that one. I'm playing, I'm playing another Grizzlebrand deck. But, this one is going to be so much better. It's going to be so much better. I'm very excited for it. And then more Dead Cells on Friday. So, as always, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you.